eat to be like that. If you want to stay on top, man, this whole uh, building your star up really depends on how you connect with people. You know what I'm saying? So the best thing for you to do is to do highlights and and the big spots that, you know what I'm saying, it's going to get you attention from the higher ups and from the fans, man, to be honest with you. The one part, but, you know, if you can talk like a guy like L.A. Knight, L.A. Knight is a prime example of somebody getting themselves over. He is a self-made man, and when he becomes champion, he will be a self-made champion. L.A. Knight really shined in the mask. The crowd went crazy when his music hit. Yeah, but I knew they weren't going to. I told you before, WWE is not going to push nobody that the people want. <laughs> so the mm-hmm. moment that people won LA night, he was never going to win. Um, I don't know if he's going to get a belt, but LA night is like 40. So they can't be waiting. They can't talk about it ain't his time yet. He ain't got that much time. <laughs> like, go ahead. This man is 40. So uh, if he's going to do it, give him give him some kind of belt. He ain't even got to have the main belt. He can get the. Take that belt off in theory. Like, get, give him another belt. Give him any belt. He can. He's gonna bring attention to that belt because Austin Theory ain't done jack. He didn't even have a match in a pay per view. <laughs> yeah, he did not. Actually, uh, to be honest with you, Austin Theory has had some pretty, pretty good matches. But the thing is, nobody cares. Nobody cares about it. And John Cena was right, man. Like, you got to make people care. Nobody cares about him, man. Um, and I hate to say it, as good as he is, he, like I keep saying, he needs to join some type of a faction or he needs to be in some type of team. Um, he has pretty deadly helping him out. I'm not sure how much help that's going to be. And a- that don't even, it don't make sense. It don't make sense to me, the, the parry. You know what I mean? Uh, but we'll see. Chef. Let's talk about it, man. What were some of your favorite moments from the men's Money in the Bank match? The entrances. Oh, man. Whose entrance in particular? <laughs> None of them. <laughs> I like Rick and Chase. <laughs> nah, but I say the one of the best parts I liked about the Money in the Bank match was um, when Rick and Chase did that 450 splash on, on both of the... Who was on it? It was... Logan, I can't remember well, who Logan. was on the ladder. Logan Paul, somebody else, was stacked on the top of each other. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that was a big. That was a big moment. Uh, I remember that. Rick, you can always count on Ricochet to kind of, you know, do some some crazy moments too. He's he's a highlight king too. But you know, I'm thinking about it. You know, L- L.A. Knight had to qualify against uh, Montez Ford in order to be in money. I thought that was unfair. For me, because I wanted to see Montez Ford get that spot. And I know Montez Ford would have did great if he was in that spot. I don't know when they're going to kind of push him along, but, man. They not. Got, man. <laughs> they're not. Because yeah, everybody wants it. They're not going to. If you get over organically, I'm telling you, they, they don't want to push LA Knight, but they ain't going to have no choice at this point in time. But they they are not gonna do it. You even even Triple H is like, uh, but, uh, 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 shut up. Y'all know damn well y'all won't buy the <laughs> the fan. Look at the last couple of times they could have gave the fans what they wanted. Drew McIntyre could have beat Roman. Place would have exploded. Uh, Cody could have beat Roman. The place would have exploded. Uh, they could have gave Selena Vega that belt even for a little bit. Place would have exploded like. What, what what's the last thing that WWE has done that the fans really wanted? I bet you probably can't think of that. Um, Logan Paul. The fans ain't want no Logan Paul. <laughs> None of the fans wanted Logan Paul. No. You know what I'm saying? No. He got just bullied his way into <laughs> into. I did, and LP, we talked about it when he first came in. He was like, he ain't gonna stay around long. Well, sir, it's been almost two years. I mean, he really, if you really want to be technical, he ain't staying. He just jumping in and out. That's not staying. I said he was not going to be a regular member on the roster, and he still is not. <laughs> he got coming up with Ricochet for SummerSlam, and he'll be gone. He popped up. He ain't been around since the last time he wrestled. He popped up 
or a week before Money in the Bank <laughs> and got in the match. So you know he is not considered on the he is not on the roster. No. <laughs> oh man. I thought that it was a, a really good showing. Um everybody had their moments, and of course, Damian Priest ended up pulling off the win and becoming senior money in the bank. I like Damian Priest having the money in the bank. I'm not mad at it. I don't disagree with it at all. Um, because you have to admit that Damian Priest has been consistent and he's been at the top of the card or from the middle to the top of the car consistently uh, for a while, man. So Damian Priest winning money in the bank, I think that's a real threat to everybody, but it looks like he's going to pretty much try to cash it in on Seth freaking Rollins at the right time. If I'm Damian Priest, I'm cashing it in on, um, on Seth Rollins. It would make sense, and it would make his career if he cashed it in on uh, Roman Reigns, to be honest with you, because he's a real threat and he has the judgment that he has backup. Roman right now is a wounded lion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? His pride left him. You know what I mean? And he just kind of, you know, licking his wound. He's an old soldier now out here in these streets. He, you should, know show up. he should show up on Friday because I feel like if you got the money in the bank, you should be able to float. You shouldn't, because again, he's staying on Raw. You know he's gonna do it on Seth. Like in order for them to make people think something different, he needs to show up on SmackDown uh, Friday, and mess with Roman a little bit. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I would, I would float around to be honest with you. And if I'm Judgment Day, it would make the perfect segment of of them really just looming around the bloodline.